Podcast. We're going to queer up the USA View. On The View, Whoopi Goldberg warns LGBTQ plus people will disappear if Trump re-elected. Actor and comedian Whoopi Goldberg has expressed concern that electing Donald Trump as president for a second time would see gay folks and journalists disappear. Speaking on ABC's The View this week, the actress was speaking about this year's U.S. presidential election and how young voters feel about Joe Biden as a Democratic candidate. She shared her chilling prediction. The Academy Award-winning actress seized the opportunity to plead with viewers at home to get out and vote no matter what in order to keep Donald Trump from being reelected. She said, it's our loss if Trump is elected as president. She said there could be restrictions, especially to the LGBTQ plus community, where everyone has the right to say how they feel, what they want, and more. Goldberg issued a separate warning to be cautious when listening to the media, which she suggested might underplay President Biden's popularity among young voters. Uh, and I think the last part there is the most important. Uh, I think Biden is fairly popular and I think the news media likes to latch on to the fact that that young people don't like him because he's old. Well, they're both old. Um, and, and the point here is that we need to be supporting progressive candidates, progressive politics in order to keep the government progressive. You know, it's interesting. Ageism is the last ism that's really still socially acceptable. Ageism is still so prevalent in our culture. Uh, and I think that's really part of the media's failing in how they cover Joe Biden. Uh, I mean, about Whoopi Goldberg's warning, it, that could be hyperbole. It also might not be. You know, Donald Trump in his first term was the president of family separation and locking kids at ca in cages at the border. Um, certainly, there's uh, it might be hyperbole of actually physically disappearing people. But what's not hyperbole, hyperbole is that Republicans of the right wing are trying to disappear LGBTQ people visibly from culture, from society, from the law. I mean, we've got Ron DeSantis, who's trying to ban books, remove us from curriculum, and Republican governors all over the country are, are following that model. And, and DeSantis is really just baby Trump. And the thing is, we have literally right now in Florida, Republicans are actually proposing a law that says that you can no longer accuse someone for say, accuse someone of being homophobic and or you get sued for libel with a $35,000 minimum mm -hmm. civil penalty. Mm -hmm. in, that's not just that the erosion of First Amendment rights. That's essentially just basically say that homophobes can say what they want and we cannot accuse them of being biased or discriminatory. It is burying us under a pile of legal paperwork. It is aimed at our entire community to say, you shut up, you cannot say anything or else we're going to sue you in the pool house. Mm -hmm. I think it's good that Whoopi um, brought that out. I'm not a uh, regular watcher of The View, but certainly I know and I have an understanding of what their audience is like. But it's nice to see, and I think we will see more of this in 2024, that there will be people who have progressive points of view who are going to try to get to audiences, particularly younger audiences, and particularly target audiences, and that who may not be paying hardcore attention to, to the news and following it the way that we, we do, but putting some of these true key factual messages out there that people understand that there are consequences. I agree with what you guys said in the sense that I think a lot of people are sitting on their hands because they don't, they don't perceive it's a good choice. They perceive they're both old and they don't want to be involved in e either one. I think that, that a lot of progressives have been, have complaints about Joe Biden and I think that, you know, he's not Bernie Sanders and so they didn't get what they wanted. But this is not a time to get what you want. This is a time to make sure that chaos does not happen. Yeah, it's not about exactly. getting what we want. It's about making sure that the truly terrible people don't get what, what they want. Uh, and a couple of things. I, uh, I, I'm OK with them not being able to say that someone is homophobic or transphobic because they're not phobic. Right. Ain't nobody in America left that's scared of us. <laughs> they're just bigots. That's all they are. They're just bigots. They're hateful. They lie. They hurt others to make themselves feel better. They're terrible people. Second of all, it's just something that you were alluding to and you were alluding to. It's not a binary choice. If young people don't like Biden, they're not going to go to Trump, but they'll just stay home. They'll just stay home. Mm. And remember, every time someone doesn't vote for Biden, that's a loss of a half a vote. 
you know, because, you know, if you go vote for Trump, then you're losing a whole vote. Right. But you get seven, uh, 150,000 people in the state to not show up. That's 75,000 votes that Biden or the um, Congress candidate, congressional candidate who, or whomever, they don't get that. So that's really, I think, where the danger is. We need to motivate the young people to get into it. And my last point before we move on, I want to discuss again what people, what happened in court this week. Donald Trump's lawyer argued for a president, a president can order a political assassination on U.S. soil. So therefore, a political opponent of whoever is in office. That is... That is taking the express tunnel, the shortcut, the cheat code to dictatorship. Mm. Because once you can no longer field a true opposition candidate, then truly all is lost. So we need to please, we will be staying on top of this. I will be staying on top of this at Queer News Tonight. Queer T will be staying on top of this. Advocate, LG, uh, the task force will be Absolutely. staying on top of this. Please come with us because we will all either survive and thrive or we will all die. And that's just what it is.